The Lord be with you. Thank you for joining me today for the Sunday readings as we prepare for this coming Sunday, the fifth Sunday, the fifth Sunday after the Epiphany, falling this year on February the 4th. The theme that ties our readings together for this fifth Sunday after the Epiphany is the Son of God, Christ Jesus, makes us a new creation. Again, the Son of God, Christ Jesus, makes us a new creation. So let's hear God's word and pray together as we prepare for this coming Sunday, the fifth Sunday after the Epiphany. The Old Testament reading will be coming from the prophet Isaiah, the 40th chapter, verses 21 through 31. Do you not know? Do you not hear? Has it not been told you from the very beginning? Have you not understood from the foundations of the earth? It is he who sits above the circle of the earth, and its inhabitants are like grasshoppers, who stretches out the heavens like a curtain and spreads them like a tent to dwell in, who brings princes to nothing and makes the rulers of the earth as emptiness. Scarcely are they planted, scarcely sown, scarcely has their stem taken root in the earth. When he blows on them and they wither, and the tempest carries them off like stubble, to whom then will you compare me that I should be like him? Says the Holy One, lift up your eyes on high and see who created these. He who brings out their hosts by number, calling them all by name, by the greatness of his might. And because he is strong in power, not one is missing. Why do you say, O Jacob, and speak, O Israel, my way is hidden from the Lord? and my right is disregarded by my God. Have you not known? Have you not heard? The Lord is the everlasting God, the creator of the ends of the earth. He does not faint or grow weary. His understanding is unsearchable. He gives power to the faint, and to him who has no might, he increases strength. Even you shall faint and be weary, and young men shall fall exhausted. But they who wait for the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not be faint. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our epistle reading comes from 1 Corinthians, the ninth chapter, verses 16 through 27. If I preach the gospel that gives me no ground for boasting, for necessity is laid upon me, woe to me if I do not preach the gospel. For if I do this of my own will, I have a reward, but not of my own will. I am still entrusted with a stewardship. What then is my reward? That in my preaching I may present the gospel free of charge, so as not to make full use of my right in the gospel. For though I am free from all, I have made myself a servant to all, that I might win more of them. To the Jews I become as a Jew, in order to win Jews. To those under the law I become as one under the law, though not being myself under the law, that I might win those under the law. To those outside the law I become as one outside the law, not being outside the law of God, but under the law of Christ, that I might win those outside the law. To the weak I become weak, that I might win the weak. I have become all things to all people, and by all means I might save some. I do it for the sake of the gospel, that I may share with them in its blessings. Do you not know that in a race all hue runners compete, but only one receives the prize? So run that you may obtain it. Every athlete exercises self-control in all things. They do it to receive a perishable wreath but we an imperishable. So I do not run aimlessly. I do not box as one beating the air, but I discipline my body and keep it under control, lest after preaching to others, I myself should be disqualified. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And lastly, our gospel reading coming from the gospel of St. Mark, the first chapter, verses 29 through 39. Immediately, Jesus left the synagogue and entered the house of Simon and Andrew with James and John. 
Now Simon's mother-in-law lay ill with a fever, and immediately they told him about her, and he came and took her by the hand and lifted her up, and the fever left her, and she began to serve them. That evening at sundown they brought to him all who were sick or oppressed by demons, and the whole city was gathered together at the door, and he healed many who were sick with various diseases and cast out many demons, and he would not permit the demons to speak because they knew him. And rising very early in the morning, while it was still dark, he departed and went out to a desolate place, and there he prayed. And Simon and those who were with him searched for him, and they found him and said to him, Everyone is looking for you. And he said to them, Let us go on to the next towns, that I may preach there also, for that is why I came out. And he went throughout all Galilee, preaching in their synagogues and casting out demons. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Son of God, Christ Jesus, makes us a new creation. Again, the Son of God, Christ Jesus, makes us a new creation. The Lord alone is the everlasting God, the creator of the ends of the earth. He sits above the circle of the earth and stretches out the heavens like a curtain. Yet his almighty power is demonstrated chiefly by his mercy and compassion. He gives power to the faint and to him who has no might, he increases strength. The only begotten Son of the Father, the very Word by whom all things were made, becomes flesh and takes up, takes all the poverty and weakness of our sin and death upon himself, bearing it in his body upon the cross. As he dies for us there, he also raises us up, a new creation in his resurrection from the dead. Thus, by the preaching of this word, he heals many who were sick with various diseases, and he casts out many demons. And his preaching continues, his preaching continues through those whom he has sent, who, were who are entrusted with a stewardship to preach the gospel. Thus we are set free by the word of Christ and we exercise our freedom in loving service to others. Let us pray the prayer of the day. For this fifth Sunday after the Epiphany. O Lord, keep your family, the church, continually in the true faith that relying on the hope of your heavenly grace, we may ever be defended by your mighty power. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. We are bold to pray together as he has taught us. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Amen.